New at four, some potential changes to how much a you could pay to ride Metro was a big topic of conversation at WMATA's board meeting today. A new proposal calls it fair simplification, where some people may pay more and some less. Our David Kaplan is live at Fort Totten tonight. And DK, we know the, these fair changes would take effect on July 1st. So has Metro finalized these changes? And if so, exactly what are they? Well, Rob, they have not finalized. They'll vote on this. They would become effective on June 1st, uh, July 1st, excuse me. They are still really working through some of the specifics, but we want to put up on your screen what some of the main changes may be. Take a look. These are some of the changes from what is happening now to what could happen. Peak and off-peak times, those are going to go away. The minimum rate is also going to drop from $225 to $2. The amount per mile after three miles will go from $0.32 cents up to $0.40. Sense. And the part of the program that's new would essentially say that anyone who might be enrolled in SNAP benefits could get 50% off every ride, along with discounts for seniors and those living with disabilities. Now, these changes expected to generate $7.1 million, according to WMATA estimates. The part the board seems to be tinkering with still is the maximum fare. The proposal is for $650, but the board is now considering $6. Some will pay more, some will pay less under these changes. Metro GM Randy Clark says he knows fair policy, controversial, that there are no perfect answers, but given how Metro is funded, he says, and how Metro all works, he thinks these changes are fair, as do 70% of respondents to a Metro survey. Nothing is free in this world, and we also have to balance the budget, as the chair said. So, you know, some people out there constantly, you know, tweet at me or say something else, just be like, it's like, make it like New York, make it two bucks. Well, New York's not two dollars. New York City subway is one part, but Long Island Railroad and Metro North are totally different. And as the discussion showed, we're a little bit of everything, right? So we're trying to be a commuter rail and a subway at the same time, serving a variety of different uh, activity centers and, 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 and customers. All right, so David, can you give us any insight on whose fares may actually uh, go up the most? We're told this is about 2% of riders that would see the biggest increase. Essentially, it is someone who travels long distances during off-peak hours right now that does not get any sort of assistance. Let me explain how this will all change. Metro has this tool up. We got Fort Totten to Bethesda right now. If you hit get fares right now during the peak period, it's 410, off-peak 340. That would change to 440, so it would essentially go up a dollar if we were going Fort Totten to Bethesda. I want to give you just Union Station, for example. So this one goes up a dollar, Union Station. That would go down from the peak period, 255 now to 235. And then if it was off peak, it would only go up about 15 cents. So again, those are just some of the changes. And we're going to walk you through much more of this at five, uh, all things Metro from this board meeting today. Part of it will be about fare evasion. Uh, so Certainly these gates here right now at Fort Totten are what are going to be the norm. So join me at five. We're going to dive into much more of that. As you can see, someone uh, doesn't like this one, but this will be the norm. And we'll have much more on that coming up in our next hour. Yeah, it looks like uh, some folks are trying to uh, do some things over there at the turnstile. All right, that is our David Kaplan at Fort Totten tonight in Northeast. DK, thank you.